I have got to get a new antenna for this thing. Alrighty, Front Country Tech, let's see what you got. Standard antenna, standard antenna, and I'm going to do another thing too. I'm just going to use the same, the same bow wing uh, radio, so that there's not even a difference, maybe in these two radios. So standard, standard antenna. In the vehicle now with the standard antenna that come on the Bay Wing 15 Pro. How do you copy? I read you pretty good. Uh, about a 38.40 on the S meter. options for HD antennas. Uh, these uh, Baofeng GM15 Pros came with uh, what we call the standard antenna. Short rubber ducky. Uh, this antenna here is the Ambry AR771 VHF UHF. It's sold as a, a GMRS antenna and I guess it, it does cover GMRS. As well as uh, got a dual pack off Walmart for 14 bucks. So two of these uh, shortened uh, tuned GMRS antennas at Walmart are a uh, little magnetic mounted. So that way it's stationary on the vehicle. We also have a RH770. This is kind of like the old school walkie-talkies in walkie-talkie antennas in that it's uh, rigid and uh, telescoping. And we tested it as well. So we were using the GM15 Pro for uh, you know for the handheld test. Uh, I was stationary in the vehicle using my Radiology DB25G like we've done in the past, so that way we had a good control and it has an S meter on it. Um, as you can see in all the footage in the video, uh, all the S meters from each different antenna we talked about. Um, seems like all the upgrades were better than the stock one. Yeah, all the upgrades were better than the stock. Uh, as far as the S meter goes, uh, the Stock antenna was coming in uh, 38 to 40. Uh, we tested uh, the Ambry AR771 next. Uh, we were getting up to uh, up to 45 with it as compared to the stock antenna. A little bit better, yeah. Um, I think the best one was probably the telescoping one. Uh, it wasn't. It's not even uh, tuned for GMRS exactly. It's. Uh, I think it's a ham antenna. Um, but as you can see in the video, and I noticed when he was kind of doing a little bit of the, the telescoping in and out, you know, with yeah. different sections yeah. of it, it did get a little better from time to time. Um, they're all better than the stock, like I said. I think that probably if we did have a, a winner, it depends on what you're using it for. If you're out in the hills walking around, I would say the 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 telescoping one. But then again, it's really long if you have it all the way out and it doesn't bend. Um, but if you're in the car, uh, you probably want to be with a stationary antenna outside the vehicle, you know, for maximum signal. 
Um, so it depends on your application, but definitely aftermarket antenna is better than the soft one. Yeah. This one, uh, in absolute terms, was the best, but you can compare the distance for yourselves. And, uh, you know, the thing about this one is it bends and doesn't break. Yep. This one here could be damaged, depending on uh, what you're doing with it. Definitely. And uh, we used for another control, you know, we compared them to the, to the mobile uh, Midland MXTA26, you know, and obviously it was the best. But as far as the uh, aftermarket handheld antennas go, um, I would say if you're walking around, you know, prob probably the, uh, the Abri 771. Unless you don't care, you know, to get it bent, then maybe the telescope one. So, I don't know, do you think the same thing? or I think the same thing. And uh, leave a comment with, uh, with your thoughts. And uh, I always appreciate suggestions for the channel. And uh, we thank you for tuning in. That country take out. And what's your... <laughs> I'm upgraded now. Thanks a lot, fellas. Like and subscribe. Oh, backcountry tech. Okay.